There's an EV I've been wanting to test drive for a long time. With today's rapid development of EV technology, does it still stack up as a premium modern EV? So today I'm test driving this, the BMW i4. This is the BMW i4 eDrive 40, rear wheel drive, Grand Coupe. It's quite a big long name. In New Zealand, there's also available the smaller battery eDrive 35 and the higher spec eDrive 50. First up, I reckon it looks awesome, especially from the side profile. I'm a big fan. From the, from the front, I used to be not a huge fan of the large kidney grill, but now it's growing on me and I think it really works with this model. You've got that coupe slope happening here. Got the uh, iconic LED headlights. The M Sport package includes uh, body styling such as spoiler front bumper, side skirts and rear bumper. Blue accent trims around the car. Alloy wheels. Since I've been a child, that's always impressed me. Flush door handles. One thing you notice, like on, um, like on quite a few cars, there's no rear window wiper. No rear window wiper. I guess that's quite an angle though, isn't it? So maybe so all the water should just flow off. Here's your charging port with light visibility for during nighttime charging. Color wise, I don't mind this one, but I prefer it in the blue. In the boot, easy to open, more of a hatch. Very spacious. Some bit of storage in there. Tether, tether, tether. And then underneath you've got your classic bit more storage and your charging apparatus. Just a quick summary of my driving so far. Faultless handling. Just on the open road, it's almost, I don't know how you describe it, it's almost too easy to driving. You just um, the balance of the car is awesome. Classic BMW, the drive handling. Um, no pro problem, just put your foot down to the speed limit and you're away. Cornering, got nothing to complain about that. The seat does feel a little bit diggy into me though. I think that's more about my size in the, in the seat though. I feel it at the bottom on the sides. It's digging in a little bit. The braking's been good, not jarring. I've also been using, just practicing out with the uh, safety features such as the lane assist. I found those features to be quite smooth. Often they can be grabby and get you, this is a one-way bridge, get you into more trouble than you actually wanted. Uh, but I found this system's to be pretty, a bit more mature than some other systems I've used you do feel the weight of the car but it drives really well some i4 eDrive 40 stats speed 0 to 100 5.7 seconds claimed WLTP range 590 kilometers priced from $115,000 there's options for paint rims interior including upholstery and trims packages and options my first up thoughts about the interior of the car, spending a few minutes, everything feels like where it should be. I've just gone to reach out subconsciously and everything seems to be there, you know, adjust the side mirrors, side mirror buttons. I've reached out to adjust the screen. The control works pretty well. So it's very, um, I should say, where you think things are gonna be is where they are, which isn't always the case. Features of the interior, obviously what stands out is the, uh, Swerving curved display with the 12.3 inch instrument cluster and the larger 14.9 control display. The two drinks holders, oh that closes there. Driving modes, the on off button, reverse neutral drive and then you've got your um, little dial here, media home. I'm finding that quite good instead of having to reach into the screen just be able to sort of sit back, relax, and adjust from there. Um, and then you've got some controls here. I've got a volume, backwards, forwards, emergency, maximum, there's some heater controls, so some physical controls. 
manual controls here for your vents. Um, so, and then some storage underneath there. Um, and this is nicely finished. Nice and soft. Controls. So yeah, everything's that soft, that soft. Everything's pretty premium. Lever upholstery, the metallic trim, ambient lighting, heated and ventilated seats. I've got a um, microphone there for the driver and a microphone for the passenger. Feels solid. What you want. I've got my steering wheel. Steering wheel feels nice. Nice and chunky, actually. It feels... I like that. Got easy to read there. Distance, obviously. It says I've got 460 kilometres of range to go, and the battery's charged at 99% at the moment. Um, so the front's good. I like being in the driver's seat. I feel comfortable. Sort of quite low. Low and cocooned is my seating position. The back seat is not quite the room fest of the front. My legs are tight. So I've got my seat positioning, my, my 6.2. I'm pretty tight there and my, and my head's on the roof. I feel a bit hunched. I can't really either, sometimes you can sort of drop down into the, into the seat, but that's not happening. I'm pretty, I'm pretty fixed right where I am, which I don't think is good for my posture. Um, and also you've got that, because this car is of course used for a, also a petrol version, you've got the uh, rising middle. So, don't have people in the back seat would be my key point. Or have them very short or small or childlike, I guess. On the plus sides, the premiumness does flow to the back seats. And you've got two lights here. Um, and some US, two USB-Cs down here and some heating controls. So there are pluses. Lovely lever. Just going back to my original questions. Does this car stack up? Yes. Driving, hard to beat. Technology wise, I think it's got everything there, it ticks all the boxes. And then it's more, you know, personal preferences. So I do recommend you give it a try, test it out. You might test it out where I got this one from, which was told on a BMW. See the friendly staff there, they gave me this car to review. But overall, as a driving vehicle, this is awesome. Thanks for watching this video on the i4. If you've got any questions or thoughts about it, let me know in the comments below. A like and or subscribe would be great as it helps me get more EVs to review. And here's another EV review to check out.